Hello everybody and welcome to a new preview video, this time about the game called Prey. The original price is $39.99 on Epic Games, but it comes free yeah, also boy. May 12th till May 19th. So I expect a lot for that kind of money. Anyways, Prey is a first person shooter developed by Arcane Studios and published by Bethesda Softworks, which is a big time publisher. The game came out in May 2017 and has about 16 hours of gameplay. I checked out the speedrun and that only took 6 minutes and 19 seconds. That is very impressive. Generally speaking, everybody seems to be loving this game. It has a 4.5 out of 5 on GOG games and about a 90% positivity rating on Steam, which is incredible. Seems everybody seems to love it, except this guy. This guy does not like it whatsoever. So <laughs> let's actually just read it. I must be playing a different game to everyone else based on some of these reviews. Either that or this is the first game that I've played since Pong. Looks, feels and plays like something the work experience kids put together on a lunch break. <laughs> Thankfully, I only paid two quit for it. Which is still about 5 quid too much. Probably the worst enemies in a game since Halo 4. A small and dull range of weapons. I mean, wrench? Really? Abilities that are of no incentive to unlock because frankly, they're just dull. A soundtrack fresh from the 80s. I mean, what's wrong with the 80s? The 80s are... They have pretty good music. Either way. The best part of the game was about the first five minutes and it just went further downhill from there. I didn't finish it. I had enough of the bland story and all around poor performance and couldn't bring myself to carry on. If you have some turps laying about, try scrubbing your retina with it. It will be more enjoyable. People are saying what a great plot it is, how exciting it is, how compelling it is. There's no way on this earth that anyone could mean all of that. When ranking games, my 5 star ranking for mo modern games are like Breath of the Wild, Horizon, Gods of War and such. This cannot possibly be compared to such games. If this is your kind of game, you might be able to justify a 2 star, maybe a 3 star, but there's no way that anyone could possibly give this a 5 star. So the game takes place in an alternate timeline in which the humankind invested a lot more money into going to space resulting in taking to orbital stations far earlier. We take the role of Morgan Yu, a human aboard a space station with numerous species of hostile aliens known collectively as the Typhon. The player is able to take certain decisions that affect elements of the game's story. To survive, the player must collect and use weapons and resources aboard the space station to fend off and to defeat the Typhon. According to the creative director, the space station is completely continuous rather than having separate levels or missions, basically meaning that we will need to go back to everything that we already explored. Ah wells. We are apparently able to venture outside of the space station into space and find shortcuts connecting parts of the station. The aliens have an array of different powers that the player character can gain over time. One such alien has the ability to shapeshift into everyday items. For example, a chair. That's just brilliant. The player can use tools such as a recycler to break down almost any object into raw resources or a device called a psychoscope that can acquire alien ability. So, as said earlier, the game has multiple endings based on the player's decisions. That's pretty interesting, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna explore all those possible endings. Apparently, there's also a Mooncrash expansion and a Typhon Hunter expansion, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be in the free version of Epic Games. Anyways, without further ado, let's check out the trailer. This is Morgan. The year is 2034. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I can't see it, but it sees me. It sees 
everything. You know what I'm talking about. Or you will soon. This is Morgan. The year is 2035. Please listen. This isn't a dream. It's a nightmare. There's no room for uncertainty. There's no room for doubt. And know this, there's more at stake than just Talos One. If what happened here, if even one breaks containment, we're all lost. To make this right, someone has to die. There might be some jump scares incoming in that one, isn't it? <laughs> well, I can't really wait to check out if it's going to be amazing like 90% of the people say or if it's going to be the worst horrendous game that's not even worth two quid you know like that one person claims. Either way, thank you all for watching, I appreciate it. Please like, please subscribe and I will see everyone in the next video. Take care. Even get some bronze.